Whoa, 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 it's your boy X3000 LCE, we in the building. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, all that and all that. I'm trying to get back into the YouTube algorithm, you know what I'm saying? So can y'all please help me out, share the content, hit that like button, you know what I mean? And drop some comments so y'all let me know what y'all think about the videos or what y'all want to see, you know what I'm saying? Now, we got Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion went through what they went through. Now, Tory Lanez about to be released. TMZ dropped some news. Tory Lanez is ripping his former attorney apart in a formal ethics complaint to the state bar of California, claiming she didn't have his best interests at heart when she represented him in his criminal case over, over the Megan Thee Stallion shooting. TMZ hip hop obtained Tory's complaint in which he says his former attorney, Sean Holly, abandoned him when they got when the going got tough in his criminal case. The incarcerated Sid Sanger claims he took on Holly to represent him without knowing she had business ties to Megan Thee Stallion Rock Nation. Tory cites Hulu hit series Reasonable Doubt as the source of her conflict of interest. He say Holly served as one of the principal producers on the show, which is loosely based on her life as a celeb attorney. Megan and Beyonce's Grammy Award winning collab Savage was featured in season two of the show, as was a track from Holly's daughter, who has sung back up for Beyonce in the past. Toy says Rock Nation CEO Desiree Perez was allowed to assist Megan in giving police statements and claims Holly left him behind. Toy says his refusal to take a guilty plea caused Holly to neglect fighting for his innocence, including by allegedly telling his DNA expert not to perform extensive studies on the gun after he insisted he never touched it. Tory believes Holly was acting on the orders of Rock Nation to force him to plea out. He's now demanding the California State Bar for discipline against Holly for the alleged ethical breaches and wants her to return the money he paid it. Holly says Tory brought these meritless claims to the State Bar over a year ago and it was rejected and the matter was promptly closed. His actions to publicize this failed effort are likely tied to the appeal of his criminal conviction. You know what I'm saying? So she's saying he only doing this um, based on his appeal. And it was already shut down before. But I still feel Tory Lanez is coming home because he never did none of that. You know what I mean? He ain't shoot Megan in the foot. They all conspired to put him in prison. You know what I'm saying? Rock Nation. Y'all did him dirty. So y'all let me know in the comments, man. What y'all think? Y'all think Tory coming home? Now, here is the criminal complaint, I guess, that Tory lawyers had wrote up, you know what I'm saying, and formalized in reference to the appeal process. So let's read it. They said, I'm making a formal complaint with the state bar against my former attorney, Sean Holly Chapman, state bar number, blah, blah, blah. Miss Holly was my former attorney. It's my criminal defense case, People vs. Daystar Peterson, a.k.a. Tory Lanez, L.A. Superior Court. Attorney highly violated her duties to me from the beginning of her representation to the time she abruptly withdrew and so Dawn breached her code of professional conduct as well as California law. Her representative severely hampered my case and set me at a disadvantage, which directly led me to my conviction. Miss Hiley's first breach of conduct was that she had a conflict of interest that she failed to disclose to me before agreeing to represent me. Briefly, on background, I'm a musician and artist that is known professionally as Tory Lanez. I was convicted in 2022 of assaulting another musician that is known by the name Megan Thee Stallion. I did not commit the crime or assault or harm Megan Thee Stallion. When I was first charged with this crime, I sought, I sought out Miss Holly to defend me. I was referred to Miss Holly by my entertainment attorney as an excellent criminal defense lawyer with experience representing high profile and celebrity clients. After consulting with her, Miss Holly agreed to serve as my defense counsel. A dollar amount was agreed upon, and I signed her retainer agreement. What Miss Holly failed to disclose to me was that at the time she agreed to represent me and took payment from me, she was directly involved in a business relationship with the same company that had a business relationship with the alleged victim in my case, Megan Thee Stallion. That company was Rock Nation. At that time, Megan Thee Stallion was an artist, sign, and manager 
by Rock Nation. At the time of our consultation, Miss Holly was one of the principal producers of a TV show titled Reasonable Doubt. Reasonable Doubt is a legal drama loosely based upon Miss Holly's life. In the credits of the show, she is listed as both a producer of the show and its legal counsel. The show first premiered in September of 2022, the same year as in just a couple of months before my trial. The owner and CEO of Rock Nation is the musician and artist known as Jay-Z. There are expensive ties between the show Reasonable Doubt, Rock Nation, and Jay-Z. The title of the show Reasonable Doubt is also the name of Jay-Z's critical acclaimed debut breakout album in every episode bears the name of one of Jay-Z's one of Jay-Z's biggest songs, which Jay-Z will have to clear the songs in order to be cleared. It has also to come to my attention. Season 2 of the show includes music by Rock Nation artists and my accuser Megan Thee Stallion. Apparently, Miss Holly has a daughter that is a backup singer to Beyonce, Jay-Z's wife. I was completely unaware of the show, Miss Holly's involvement with the show or her involvement with Rock Nation at the time of the cons consultation. And Miss Holly never informed me at any time of her connection to Rock Nation. Miss Holly had a legal and professional duty to disclose her relationship with Rock Nation to me prior to a grant to represent me and taking money from me at some point thereafter. Now it's a lot here, yo. I ain't gonna read the rest of it, but yeah you know I'm saying y'all get uh y'all gonna look online to find the rest of the um complaint that Tory Lanes have filed in reference to um, getting out of jail from this Megan Thee Stallion case, man. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. There's a lot of crazy stuff that happened with this case, you know what I'm saying? That's why Shorty being connected to Rock Nation like that is bad business, you know what I'm saying? And I see why Tory Lane's father came out there screaming at um, after the court, you know what I'm saying, when he was outside of the courthouse because he definitely was on Jay-Z Hills, man, you know what I'm saying? Feeling like... He did his son dirty. And I would feel like that too, you know what I mean? Um, so I don't know why none of this was brought up. Like the witness, you know what I'm saying, that was supposed to testify. A lot of things that was supposed to happen didn't happen, you know what I mean? Um, so I kind of feel like they threw yo under the bus, you know what I mean? And hopefully he get his chance to come home. He get his uh, appeal to be heard in front of a judge, you know what I'm saying? And they can do what they do, man. Because... There's a lot of innocent people that's locked up, you know what I mean? And Tory, you know what I'm saying, off jump, he didn't want to look like he was ratting, you know what I'm saying? That's why he never said nothing from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? He didn't want to look like he was telling on Megan Thee Stallion. And when she came on that live, you know what I mean, it was over from there. He knew she was going to court, you know what I'm saying? And he should have known. He was about to, it was about to get serious after that, you know what I mean? So, y'all let me know what's up. This your boy X3000LCE. Until the next time, I'm out, you hear me?